Hi guys, so I'm going to demonstrate how I go about uh, provisioning new members on test flight and using it with Titanium. So I know that I have had a couple new members uh, sign up for my test flight app. Um, so I'm going to add them to my uh, provisioning profile. So under recruited, you'll see that Carrie Black was kind enough to join. And so once I recruit him, I'm going to actually add his provisioning, pro, uh, his UDID. And I really care only about his iPhone 4S, so I'm going to copy that. Go into devices under the um, portal. And I think his name was Kerry, so I'm just going to call him Kerry. Add a device. And once you do that, there's Kerry. Let's go under provisioning, distribution, and note when, whenever you have to add or you add another person, you will have to regenerate a uh, new uh, distribution profile. It helps me to call this a new name because sometimes it gets confusing when there's tons uh, of profiles, and right now at this point I have like 15 or 20, and it's getting really annoying, so sometimes it helps to actually rename that. Uh, and so let's wait for that to run. We download, and there it is. Um, and then now I'm going to go back into Titanium. I use Developer just because it's um, a little more uh, convenient and lightweight for me. Go under the Distribute tab and select the provisioning profile that you just downloaded. So it's right there. One thing you'll note is that it will probably uh, alert you to the fact that it's not renamed uh, the way a developer wants the uh, Titanium developer developer wants it. Um, that occasionally happens, and what you need to do then, I don't know if it's happening now, but uh, if it doesn't, that's good. If it does, you just have to rename your file to what it asks it to be and load it into your iPhone um, uh, mobile devices folder. Since it seems to be working, I'm not going to actually demonstrate it, but it should be under your library, mobile device, provisioning profiles. You just have to rename it and put it somewhere. Um, it looks like uh, the names were fine. I think when you add more members, something intelligent happens such that you don't really have to do that multiple times. Um, so this takes a couple minutes. Okay, so once it's all done, uh, Organizer should automatically appear. If it does not, uh, open Xcode and uh, do Command Shift 2, and you should be able to see this uh, Organizer view. Let's go to Archives. And we should actually see uh, an app of ours that has uh, the time as the, the 11.30 as our uh, dispatch time or creation time. And so you want to share it and create an IPA that uh, um, uh, test flight will be able to take. Note that many times this actually does slow down significantly, so don't worry about it, just um, let it crunch through. It can be pretty frustrating the first couple times, um, but let, let it just run. This is on a MacBook Pro, so uh, if it happens on your fast machine too, don't worry. And once that does come up, uh, select the uh, profile now. Remember, these are the ones that I have done for previous builds, uh, where there have been fewer individuals signed up. So uh, I want the one that has Distrib2 written on it, which is one the, the latest one. Usually the last one is going to be your latest one. And since things slow down quite a bit, I'm just not really going to engage much with the mouse, and I'm just going to add a number at the end. So I hit the right arrow and put in the number 7 and press enter there so we should be pretty done uh, we can go to test flight and upload a build 
and select our uh, IPA. I'm just going to do apps. Uh, so it looks like I had a bit of issue where I wasn't saving it in the right direction, so I wasn't able to find it. So I've redone that process and I've called it app.ipa. And in the release notes, I'm just going to write down that I had a local search. And let's see, I added local search as well as a history feature that allows people to uh, view and retrieve their past uh, search queries. And when you hit next, uh, uh, it will obviously upload the file. Now, once you get past that, you may get some errors. I will, I won't cover them all. Um, the test flight documentation is pretty good, so I would refer to those. But you should see right here all the users that you've added as uh, provisioned devices. And notice that we didn't add the iPad uh, explicitly, just because I didn't. I wasn't really developing for the iPad. She has an iPod Touch, so. And once we do that, everyone gets a notice. I get a notice that says, everyone, uh, please upload or update your test flight app. And just as a confirmation that that is indeed the case, let's check my email. And there we go. We get an email saying uh, that new build is available. So in the next video, I'm actually going to talk about a little bit of the settings in the Apple portal that are necessary to make this happen.